Hello everyone and welcome to Super T Console Gaming. It's Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and Yoshi is playing the Shell Cup. Thank you so much for joining us as we head off to Moo Moo Meadows. Be sure to jump in the comments and say g'day. Tell us how you're traveling. I hope everything is well. And then kick back for 15 while Yoshi takes us on a tour of the Shell Cup. Hopefully he can win and he can dominate and he can do some crazy stuff with that big red tongue. Provided the felt teddy bear doesn't get too damp. Because a damp teddy bear is not a fast teddy bear. So keep your tongue in your mouth, Yoshi. All right, let's go. Dodge the cows. Order bears eat cows. Oh, there's the cow there. Look at that. Oops. Too busy looking at cows. Missed the start. That's all right. We can go on a bit of a tour of the meadows. All right, let's get it on. Toad's caught the smack as we've gone through there. Got the angle wrong. Let's hit. Oh, that was way off. Here I am talking my... A green shell game up too much and we got it all very wrong. DK's floating around. Threatening to be problematic for us. However, we are the ones with the bananas. And somehow, even though we hit DK then, he didn't collect a banana. Isn't it amazing the luck and the fortitude that some of our competitors get? It's never afforded to us, however. Anyway, down through Valley of the Cows we go. Straight up the woozy. Well done there, Yoshi. You're all over it. Let's try and hang it out wide here and pick up a few extra coins. We've done that nicely. Got myself stuck on the grass there. That wasn't great, if I'm honest. As we get squiddings. Yoshi travelling along nicely. The pigeon's off to the left. Um, I wish this squid ink could go away. I do not like it. Blue shells come out. I'll tap myself. Oh, see, that's all I was doing. Just protecting myself from the blue coin. <laughs> that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Anyway, we're going all right. Well done, Yoshi. Let's just throw that out in the back and get rid of it. All right, well, there's Yoshi coming in for the win. Well done to him. He knows what's happening. Got his little red shell on, the pathetic red shell. I mean, he couldn't fit inside that. As he cops an appendage to the back of the forehead. The back of the forehead. I mean, think about that for a second. What's he doing? He's just... <laughs> he's just run into a cow. And if he's not careful, he's going to do it again. He's too busy playing up to the crowd that doesn't exist. Yoshi, you lost your mind, son. I mean, come on. I know your shell's way too tiny for your body, therefore it's completely useless. But let's think about these things. Anyway, let's get on to race number two here with Yoshi as he looks to extend his successful start. I think he's capable, let's be honest. He's been doing this for millions of years. Mario Circuit from the GBA massive fan of this track let's get straight into it there's the teddy bear dry felt let's get a start right hey let's do something for the people at home there we go baby peach has got the better of us though she's taken off at a great deal of rate a great deal of rate there you go there's a saying you've never heard before you know why because it makes no sense you're actually getting his jump on here i refuse to hop boost off that one Come on, let's get some coins, Yoshi. It's looking a bit nigh. That's got a six. We'll get a double box as we head down the back straight. Not that it's really a straight. It's more of a, a curvature. Anyway. We're okay in the early outsets here. Around the outlap number one in first place with a green shell and one of those little noisy siren box thingies. And I missed all of those coins. What a doofus. There you go. Some G-rated... Blasphemy. Oh, here comes the red one. That means nothing for us because we've got the box. Okay, can I get my 10 coins? Finally, we've managed it as we slot through the item boxes. Ah, oh, the coins. The coins are no good to me. Come on. Well, I tell you what, we've left the world in our wake. Baby Peach is leading the charge and she's a mile away. All right, now we need to pull some magic before they hit us with another 
Well, not another, but well, before they hit us with the blue shell, and the game says no, you can just have a multitude of coins. They're absolutely useless to you, so here, take a thousand of them. As we get around the invisible bananas, I then grab another double box, and we make our way down towards the finish line where we get nothing useful at all. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Hit me with your red shell, I'm still half a lap in front. Yoshi crosses the line in the little teddy bear. <coughs> I've just realized the teddy bear's bum looks like a face. He's got eyes and a nose. This is ridiculous, it's getting out of control. Yoshi's waving again to the non-existent crowd. I mean, what are you doing? You're as bad as the glove licker, AKA Princess Peach. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check out my Princess Peach playthrough where she wins races and licks gloves far too much. She's a lunatic, at least Yoshi's got the tongue in his mouth. He's had the decorum to go, it's not appropriate, it's too long, I can't get it out. It's gotta stay hidden in my, in my big mouth. Maybe it retracts into his neck. Is that how it works? <laughs> I've got no idea. Anyway, let's go, next race for Yoshi. He's two from two at this stage, he's on fire. Not bad for an old bloke with a tiny impractical red shell as we head to Cheap Cheap Beach, the beautiful tropical tranquility that usually turns into an absolute mess somewhere around the back end of lap three. Let's be honest, okay. Here we go, the teddy bear. I don't think it's conducive to a sandy, wet beach. Uh, we might, oh yeah, look, the tires are already starting to clog up with sand. It's one of those finer details that Nintendo put into their games, but is an absolute disservice to the dinosaur currently riding a teddy bear. All right, well, someone's decided to hit me with a red shell early on there, but we got away with it as I run into a tree. Good start. Well done there, Yoshi. Oh, yes. As the second red shell for the race. The game making its intent known early here. Oh, there's the third red shell for the race. Well, we're absolutely on a... Oh, and a green one. This is normally where it goes bad in the third lap. But the game has just put it on us. Early. It said, no, no, cheap, cheap beach. It's what nightmares are made of. And you're gonna cop it, Bowser takes one. DK will probably get away with it as we won't get there in time. And I throw the most ill-informed, incorrectly directed green shell you've ever seen. DK's got on the red ones as well. Anyway, let's try and do something better with it this time. Before we get up to Havoc Corner, DK's run into a tree. <laughs> oh, I love it. I do like this track a whole lot. It's just it gets it gets hectic and I'd almost say unfair. But we are going okay at this stage. The red shell has taken our banana and exposed the coin, which has then left us with no items. As we flip our way back into the tropical sunset. Here comes the blue shell on lap three. That's not what we wanted. We'll throw the bomb out the back and start lighting up some of our competitors as we punch on through another bomb. I don't think I've ever had this many of the damn things. I don't think they're particularly useful. Away from the banana, Yoshi. Let's get the double box and try and secure a first place here. More the bombs. We've only got a coin, but I don't think we're going to need it. So it's kind of done that in reverse. Normally the first two and a half laps are easy. And then it, you've got to fight to the finish because it turns on as you come up that last dirt hill. But it's done it in the opposite way because it attacked us on lap number one. And isn't that a glorious sight? Yoshi riding the teddy bear through the sand. Look at the sand build up. It's when you realize that felt is not a good material for a go-kart tire. I mean... We should have thought of that at the outset and just gone, hang on a sec, guys. A fluffy material ain't gonna get it done as he just runs straight into a tree, reminiscent of Moo Moo Meadows, where he ran into a cow. I mean, that's absurd behavior there from Yoshi. <laughs> All right, here we go. Fourth and final race time. Let's get on it to bring home the Shell Cup. Yoshi, 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 what's he gonna do? 
I, um, I did get told that I, I make the characters sound mentally insane. Um, yep, that's uh, that's how I keep myself sane. <laughs> so thanks for watching and thanks for noticing. I, I do appreciate it when people recognise that I'm mentally unstable. <laughs> anyway, it's Toad's Turnpike. It's good, simple fun, this track, let's be honest. There's not a lot to it. It's just big open roads that are a bit slow and a bit dull. You dodge the vehicles that are going slightly slower and are even a little bit more dull. And we'll zoom through here and pick up some items and then get a game plan in place. Um, I, for one, am, am going to drop... Oh, that... What are you doing? I'll give it away. That was horrendous. Anyway, well, I really just... I can't... I can't even say what I did there. I... I, well, I can't even talk. Anyway, let's go. Come on, we'll get around this bus and then we'll punch it up through the truck we're going to bet to cruise into first place which is where we should have been all along but i don't know how to drive up the ramp of a moving motor vehicle well see what i mean we're just kind of dodging traffic at the moment there's not a lot going down oh dk i was gonna say if you what happened there did he did he just run into my green shell and then i oh, i was so confused all right let's go down the big hill. See what I mean? It just feels slow. It's kind of a nothing track. Which is a shame, really. But I guess it was the same on Nintendo 64, wasn't it? It just felt like a bit of, oh yeah, whatever. Anyway, we're going to win. That That's the important thing, right? And I say that one and a half laps from the finish line, knowing full well that I am absolutely capable of stuffing up and this game is absolutely capable of ripping your heart out and then eating it with a blunt spoon. Anyway, aerodynamics are fine as Yoshi keeps his tongue in his mouth. As we spoke about early on in the race, he's, he's left it conveniently located in his throat. He's retracted it all the way down there. And again, I can't help but focus on the fact that this bloke has a shell. Now a shell traditionally is where an animal lives. Explain to me how Yoshi's going to fit inside that pathetic little shell on his back. I mean, is it a design flaw or is it why his, his, his people are extinct? I'm just not sure what's happening. Anyway, enough about the Yoshi dynamics and where he lives. Oh my goodness, look at that teddy bear. It turn, its eyes turn into headlights and it looks terrifying. It's an evil teddy bear. He's probably ticked off that we drove him through the beach. He's probably covered in salt water and gone rusty since cheap, cheap beach. Anyway, let's head off to the oh, low lights and the highlights package. Put together conveniently for us by Mario Kart TV. I'm always intrigued to see what they're going to come up with. Never overly happily, happy with the results, if I'm honest. Um, but let's check them out. What track are we going to go to? They've got all four to choose from because we dominated like a dinosaur. Let's see... Shell Cup highlights brought to you at, oh, look out, it's Mario Circuit. And I like that because I love this track. I have said before in many videos, I prefer the boring race kart tracks like this one. They're more my style. I prefer this over the themed tracks. Um, so good to see that they took us here. Um, and Yoshi's highlights, is it's not a bad little package. Anyway, there you have it, everyone in the Shell Cup. We went first, 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 and first. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it a whole bunch. Get in the comments and let us know what you thought. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. And again, thanks for hanging out. We appreciate your time. It means the world to us. We, we are very, very thankful for that. So cheers. Thank you. And we'll see you next time. Hooroo. Goodbye. Have fun. See you later.